okay? Yeah, I'm all right. right. Are you I'm all right? You know, all right. Why are you crying? <sighs> because the onions. Oh. Oh. Well, here we are for part two of the Abruzzo special, which was filmed last year in 2020. Like I said before, I held this video back whilst we worked on the film My Neighbour is a Bear, which was directed by Mattia Cialoni and is coming out quite soon. The link for the trailer for that film is in the description. In this episode of 10 Meter Walks, we go up to Montagna Grande, which is a mountain near Villa Lago, and spend time in a little refuge or hut and there's nobody about, it's incredibly peaceful and we get to experience proper Italian wilderness and some of the cinematics you'll see are showcasing the environment and the animals here. So I hope you enjoy part two of the Abruzzo special. Hi everyone, um, I'm going to do this bit of recording now uh, because I can't really do it later. So welcome to the second part of the Abruzzo vlog. I've decided to, to split this one into two because it's in two distinct sections. And as you can see, we're on an extremely bumpy road going up the mountain and that is because that's what this one is going to be all about. We're going up the mountain and we're going to stay in a retreat for four days. The reason I have to do this now is because we can't really talk up there very loud at all um, because it, any wildlife that hears you up there will uh, be startled and run away and won't come back to that place. So it's virtually going to be silent and we'll probably be hiking for about an hour and a half, two hours or so. Um, but we've got a lot of kit and it's uh, quite, uh, as you can see, intense terrain, um, but it's gonna definitely be worth it. Uh, we've got Ennio in the front, who is our, our guide, and he's he's living up here quite a lot of the time, doing some tracking and some hunting and that kind of thing, so it's gonna be brilliant to uh, be immersed in that environment um, and, and, and experience really, like, honestly, true wilderness for a few days. Um, but other than that, the only person we don't have is Paul, so we don't have to worry about ice creams or kittens anymore. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to watch the last episode. Uh, but yeah, and I'll leave you with the thought that if you ever need to buy a car, get a Fiat Panda, because we're in a Fiat Panda driving up the side of a mountain, and honestly, this thing is better than 4x4s that I've been in in these kind of roads. How's your stomach? Uh, I'm I'm suffering, <laughs> but it's, oh. it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Matty, how's it in the front with all of your space? It's amazing, you have a beautiful view. You, got, you can clearly see every bump you take. <laughs> and you can predict them, so actually I got an advantage. Uh, but it's lovely, yeah? Oh, it's lovely. nice. We've, uh, we've reached the spot. Yes. Uh, and um, the road's just ended in a forest, so off we go. This is very 
quickly show you inside here while we can with the lights. Normally there'll be no lights like this, just candlelight. But uh, yeah, got our meal, beans, wine, and candlelight, and silence for the next few days. And the beds are up Amazing. Thank you. 
but we didn't hear anything because we thought they'd be feeding on the berries here. So we're going to do a 40 minute trek back. Again, there's a chance of seeing a couple of things, maybe, but it's all very unlikely. Uh, wolves could be roaming and it's about the time now that they'll be out, but again, we have to be silent and um, probably not a chance that we'll see them, but yeah, it's really cool to see the chamois and um, maybe another time we'll see the bear. Anyway, I'll talk to you when, uh, when I'm back. And tomorrow we'll be doing the 10 meter walk on the mountain, so I look forward to that. Alright. Ten to nine, and I'm going down the mountain again today. So this is my last morning here. This morning I would do the ten meter walk here. Anyway, we haven't seen wolves or bears and whatnot, but that's not really for me what it's been about. It's been more about being in complete wilderness. Um, I mean, we haven't seen a single person other than us so there's been four four or three of us and there hasn't been any, any other human for the past three or four days dear um chamois birds woodpeckers eagles falcons um and lots of insects it's really an amazing environment um so I'm going to go back down to the village and hopefully get another sighting of the bear. Um, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed, but you never know. And I just wanted to say a quick thing that was about, that struck me uh, while I've been here about wildlife photography and wildlife filmmaking. And that's that um, the wilder you get, the harder it is to photograph animals but the more authentic it is and the greater the sense of achievement you get the wilder you get the harder it gets and the better it gets so just a thought I hope you enjoyed this slightly unusual double episode um, and if you haven't watched the other series, then, then do, and there'll be more to come. Uh, if anyone has, has any ideas about things I could do, then do put them in the comments. Um, and I can try and work some of those into the future videos, but I'm going to be looking to do photographic and, well, fo some photographic and some um, video filmmaking sort of challenges. Um, so stay tuned for those, but for now I'm going to head out, might as well take you with me.
Good morning. And it happened. We got a full on sighting of the bear in the village right where I'm standing. The place I'm staying is that white, is that white house up there. We left at 5.30, went down to the lake, went down to the orchards, went down to even down to the village down, down by the bottom. Nothing, no sights. And normally when light comes up, that's it. The bears go back to the mountain. But we came back and got a call. Ah, oh, she's behind your house. <laughs> Very, very unique experience. It was a wild bear, wild cubs, but not... It feels a bit different because we know they're coming down to this place and eating the apples from the trees behind me. Um, but still amazing, amazing to see that, so. Now that's the first time I see the bears here in our garden. We saw Morena the first day after half an hour you came in the village. Yep. And the last day before you, you leave. You saw the first, the March, five Marsican bears, which is... They're rare. How many in the wild? 50, 60. 50 or 60 in the wild. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for watching those two parts of the Abruzzo special for 10 meter walks. There are plenty more bear shots like these, but better. They're the ones that made it into the film. So please do check out Matthias Instagram profile to keep updated on how the film's going. Watch the trailer, which I will put in the description. And when that film comes out, make sure you check it out because it's a lovely story. Thanks again and see you soon. Mm -hmm.